in the inflation adjusted chart I've been talking about, this is the 2011 highs. We've got PT in the building. This is the 2011 highs for purchasing power. So this is gold slash M2SL. So you're essentially taking the price of gold and you're actually doing an equation with the money stock of M2. So it's not just taking into to, it's not just doing the price in US dollars, which is $4,000. This is taking into account inflation. So M2 money supply. So you can see legends that we already have had, I think it's around a 9% move off the high actually. In terms of inflation adjustment, let's actually look at the actual gold price itself in terms of the actual percent move we've got. We're looking at a 9.6% move down already from when I was saying, I do think gold will actually see itself. Well, let's just see some resistance. It doesn't have to be the top necessarily. I think actually what gold will do, I think gold in terms of purchasing power will come back down to probably levels below, a lot below 2011, because in 2011 was the top of a raging bull market. You can see right here, this is the price of gold. This was the 2011 high, the top of a massive bull market for the price of gold. But what I'm saying, I don't think gold will actually end up resulting in the price coming down to $2,000 again. I don't actually think gold will ever go back to $2,000 per ounce again. I think gold will much more likely do something like this, where it arcs out very similar to the 2011 bear market, or you could call it the sideways range. Actually, it ended up doing a cup and handle and breaking out anyway. So you could even say it was a cyclical bear trend within even a longer term bull market. The terms bull market, cyclical bear trend, bull market. But anyway, I don't think gold's going to come back to $2,000 just because we have more circulating supply US dollars in the system. It's very similar like saying, you know, it's not good. You're not going to get paid by your job one pound a week like you did in the 1800s. So I think gold will actually have some sort of sideways, if not slightly down formation for probably when it actually tops out, it might take between one and maybe even up to 10 years. But I would say, because you got to remember, guys, from 2011, gold only broke out really until around 2023. So you're looking at, yeah, over 10 years of sideways, if not down, flat. So it could be another 10 years for gold to go sideways and down. I would just say this, though, because of the expansion of the currency supply or the US dollar circulating supply is growing so rapidly, what we might see is the sideways and down being slightly less long in time because i don't think if you look at the amount of m2 money stock the m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 the, the rate of quantitative easing is extremely high in comparison to any other point in history 